What's going on YouTube family and friends? The last video we made a delicious pepper pastrami. Now we're gonna take some of that pastrami and turn it into an amazing Reuben sandwich. If you wanna see how it's done, stay tuned. So let me get back to slicing up this meat and I'll see you in a minute. <laughs> All right, guys, we're back. Now it's time to make these lovely Reuben sandwiches. Now, what we're gonna use first and foremost is that amazing pastrami we made. If you wanna see how that was made, you can check the video right up there and it'll let you know exactly how we made this stuff. But what we're gonna use, we're gonna use that pastrami, which we're gonna go ahead and throw in the griddle right now. Pepper jack cheese, which is my wife's favorite. Normally you can use Swiss or some other type of white cheese but she's a pepper jack fan, so that's what we're going to use. We have Russian dressing. This lovely marble, marble rye. We have some butter, so we can uh, butter up the bread. And sauerkraut. I like using this uh, griddle because we can get the meat going. I can warm up the sauerkraut, the bread, all at the same time, so that way when we're ready to assemble, we can just go in at once instead of having to wait on the different component. I'm personally not a big fan of Reuben sandwiches. I just like the meat, bread, and mustard. But my wife, that's her favorite sandwich, so that's what we're gonna make her right now. Then we'll just make mine with just the meat and the bread and the mustard, like I said. So I've got this griddle set at about 300 degrees so we can get this heat, this meat uh, heated up. While we're doing that, we're actually gonna go ahead and add a heap of our sauerkraut on there too to get that warm. All right. We've got a generous portion of this pastrami. Nice helping of this uh, sauerkraut as well. This stuff smells amazing already. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure this gets warmed up uh, thoroughly. Then we're gonna apply the bread a little bit later. We don't want that bread, you know, burning or anything like that. So we'll do that right toward the end of our uh, sandwich. Let's turn this up to 350. This pepper pastrami along with the sauerkraut and that cheese, man, I'm telling you. This makes for an awesome rule. doesn't take long so what we're going to do now we're going to add our cheese to the meat so it can begin to start melting one we're going to put about one and a half pieces on there just enough to cover the top portion of the meat So now that it's getting hot, now we can go ahead on butter our bread and add that to the griddle as well. We've already buttered up the griddle too, so you don't have to go super heavy, but we do want to add butter to both pieces, both pieces of bread. We 
can see that cheese starting to melt. What we're gonna actually going to do, we're gonna set this sauerkraut on top of that cheese and finish melting it here in a minute. Light golden brown on this uh, marble rye. Okay. We're gonna add that sauerkraut on here. That's what we want. So all we have to do now is add a little bit of that dressing on both sides. deli sandwiches you like plain ladies deal pickle let me just grab a knife How do you like that? Reuben sandwich. I hope you like this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can see when we have some more awesome videos coming. I appreciate you guys. God bless you.